My thesis. Conformity is largely beneficial, both for the well-being of the individual and that of the wider community, as societal conformity can lead to individual satisfaction and happiness, and can lead to greater efficiency, greater customer satisfaction, and cheaper labor costs among companies. My claims. Conformity within society can lead to greater individual happiness and well-being. This is because the conformity within social norms results in a positive self-concept and external rewards, such as social approval and recognition. We gain satisfaction from conforming to society originating from our prehistoric tribal instincts. If one exhibits socially desirable traits, then he or she is more likely to be accepted by society. Here you can see a group of people confirm to certain standards. They are all wearing the same type of clothes. They are all roughly the same age and of similar ethnicities, as well as having the same nationality. They are all participating in the same activity. All these things show that they conform to their group's ideal traits and standards, and you can see from their smiles that they are happy. Also, all of them look to be in good health. Companies expect their employees to internalize an appropriate set of values and beliefs which will ensure that the services provided are consistent with the goals and interests of the community. This internalization will allow the employees to consistently satisfy its customers in a similar manner, and thereby minimizing the risk of complaints due to a sudden change of service. This unity between employees will result in the necessity for close supervision and detailed specification of job performance being materially lessened. In this photo, you can see how all the employees share the same values and beliefs of hard work, collaboration, and active participation. They all listen attentively and are ready to take notes. This will allow them to collaborate more efficiently and brainstorm better ideas collectively as none of them are slacking. This will help create and deliver a better product or service to the customers. The government may also profit from the conformity within society as this can lead to ethnic solidarity and nationalism. This photo portrays proud Americans who are being patriotic towards their country. They're all holding the American flag and showing their support for their country. If the government wanted to change or adapt a new policy in America's best interest, then people will be more willing to accept it if they are feeling patriotic. But this nationalism would be especially useful in times of war. Conformity may also help to promote loyalty and obedience within groups. This is due to the shared identity through this conformity functioning as a source of solidarity and resource of enforcement in groups dedicated to illegal activity. But I believe that this concept holds true outside of groups dedicated to illicit activities. These traits of loyalty and obedience are especially beneficial in the army, as they tend to create a stronger unity between soldiers, which in turn create a stronger army. The picture above illustrates how conformity, seen physically through the uniforms and the buzz cuts, but also mentally through a common desire or passion to serve their country and all the training they've been through. The obedience and loyalty is displayed in their alignments by rows. Thank you for watching.